Okay, we got the uh, drain tube in and we've got our little decorative flange put in. I used some silicone around the inside lip to seal it up. Now we need to go ahead and put together our stopper assembly. And the way this works is our, I don't know, our handle or whatever drops down through the faucet to the underneath. And what's happening underneath there is this goes down then we have this little extension piece if we need it whoops like I said earlier I don't know the doggone terminology because plumbing is not my thing so you get an assembly that looks something like this Got to tighten that screw up. And what's happening here, this little ball valve or whatever goes in the back side of the drain tube. I didn't point it out, but there's there's a, a place where, where this will slide in. And what happens, we have our little stopper that's going down into the drain tube. This slides in and catches this stopper. So when you pull the handle up or down, lift it up or pull it down, it, it's doing this to raise and lower that. So where, where the handle goes down, we will, it'll come through and we'll line it up on the the hole that makes sense right here. So you have an assembly that's kind of doing this as you raise and lower it. And then it's secured by this little clip. It goes in like that. So we put it in here. It's hard to do this with, I need an extra hand. See how it kind of secures it into place. So then what we have is this assembly right here. Pull the handle up, stopper goes down, push the handle down, stopper comes up. So all that's taking place underneath the sink. I'll go ahead and put that together. Well, is my lack of enthusiasm about plumbing apparent? I can't remember if I mentioned that I hate plumbing, but anyway, let's talk about how our water flows out of the sink and out into your plumbing and eventually out into your sewer or septic tank. You'll have something like this, it's called a P-trap. And as the water flows out of your sink, it'll flow into this little trap. And what that'll do is it'll keep sewer gas from backing up and coming out your sink or your other fixtures. But as, the more, as more water comes down, the pressure forces forces it out and then eventually this goes into your wall and into your plumbing. In our case the down tube that came with the sink wasn't long enough so I had to buy an extender and uh, it'll go in here. This will this end will go over the down tube and then this will go in here. Okay these things come with they screw together and they come with either rubber or plastic gaskets depending on what you buy. Now, let's talk about this. This is the piece that goes into the wall. If you remember, we put a piece like this, oops, backwards, into the wall. So it goes in right here. And you notice we have this little gasket. It has a narrow end on it. That narrow end is going to go up against against this piece and then this collar comes in and you'll tighten down on it and the tighter you turn it the tighter the assembly gets and the tighter that gasket will get against um, against that piece now this piece hooks into your trap 
depending on what you get, it, it will probably have a little flange on it like this. And your gasket is going to lay in that flange like that, narrowing down. And what that does, if you can see, it closes up that space right here. So once you put that on, then you have another collar that comes in, tightens down on it. I ain't got a bug on my face or something. Okay, here's our extender. Same deal. It's got a little gasket. The narrow side's going to go down so that when it goes into here, it'll snug up against the threaded portion. Then your collar comes down, tightens up. So that is this entire assembly. You'll know if you put your gaskets on wrong. The best way to know is, is uh, it'll leak. <laughs> so pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and put this together, put it on the sink and into the plumbing and move on. All right, we have it all together now. Uh, you can see we went ahead and hooked our supply lines up. And in the back, you can see our little um, stopper assembly and the plumbing going down through the P-trap and out into the wall. And uh, looks good. So we are at the moment of truth. So I'll go downstairs and turn the hot and cold on to this fixture at the manifold and we'll come back up and hopefully run some water. Okay, moment of truth. Not really. I've already ran the water. I know it works. But for the purpose of the video, we're going to call this moment of truth and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. Looks good. I've checked it underneath. We don't have any leaks. Pressure's good. Water's flowing, clean water, no leaks. It's been a good day. This was just a short video. I hope you, you know, maybe got something out of it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.